Hi everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to easily reset or bypass a forgotten Windows 10 or Windows 11 password or PIN. This method should work on all editions of Windows 10 and 11. So let's get started. So right now, as you can see, I'm on my Windows 11 login screen and it's asking me for my password. But when I try to enter it, it says the password is incorrect. I've either forgotten it or just can't remember the right one. This method works not only for passwords, but also for resetting or removing a forgotten Microsoft PIN. Let's get this fixed. Now, before we get started, make sure to have a USB drive with at least 8GB of free space. We are going to use a free tool called Hiron's Boot CD. It's a popular bootable utility that can reset or remove Windows passwords and do much more. Let's open a browser and search for Hiron Boot CD. Click on the first link from the result, which should be the official Hiron's Boot CD website. I love the link in the descriptions as well. Go to the download section at the top menu, scroll down and look for a file named hbcdpex64.iso. Click on it to start the download. Now the file is about 3.1 gigabyte, so this may take a few minutes to complete. Now to create our Hiron's bootable USB, we'll use a free tool called Rufus. Open a new browser tab and let's search for Rufus. Click on the first link from the result, which should be the official Rufus website. I left the link in the descriptions. Scroll down and click on this latest version of Rufus. Once downloaded, navigate to the download folder and double click on the exe file and click yes when prompted. Now go ahead and insert the USB drive into the computer and it should appear in the device section at the top. In the boot selection section, click on the select button and let's locate the Hiron's boot CD ISO file we downloaded earlier. Leave the other options as default but you can change the volume label if you want. Once done, click on start and you should see a warning message that says all the data on the USB will be erased. Click OK to proceed. Now Rufus will take one to two minutes to create the bootable USB. Once done, click close. Now to confirm, let's open File Explorer and check the USB drive. You should see all the Hiron's boot CD files here. And now we should be able to reset the password on the computer where we are locked out. Insert the bootable USB into the locked computer. On the login screen, click on the power icon in the bottom right corner. Hold the shift key on your keyboard and click on restart. And then click on restart again. Keep holding the shift key until you see the advanced startup option screen. From here, select troubleshoot then click on advanced options, then choose UEFI firmware settings to enter the BIOS. In the BIOS, navigate to the boot order or boot priority settings. Set the USB drive as the first boot device. Save the changes and restart your computer. And now your computer should boot into the Hiron's boot CD. Just be patient, it may take a minute or two to load. All right, once the Hiron's boot CD loads, it will look like a Windows 10 desktop environment. Now the Hiron's OS has so many utilities that does different things, such as data recovery, low screen fix, and so much more. But our focus today is to just use it for the password reset. Let's go ahead and click on the start button in the bottom left corner. And go to all programs, then security, then passwords. Now here you see different password reset utilities. We'll select Windows Login Unlocker. A dashboard will appear listing all the user accounts on the computer. Now find the account you want to reset. For example, I'll select this one and you could either right click on the account or use the button at the bottom to choose an action. You could reset the pin code, reset the password, change the password or delete the user. For this example, I'll click on Reset Password 
Once done, you should see this confirmation. Click OK, and that's it. The password has been reset. You could go ahead and restart your computer normally now and remove the USB drive. You'll see a message that says your password has expired and must be changed. Click on OK and you'll be prompted to enter a new password. You are now logged in into your system. Alright, that's all for this video. If it worked for you, let me know in the comment section. And as always, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.